Hey everyone, this is Jordan from SleekLens.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to add snow to your photos in Adobe Photoshop. Okay, so to add snow in your photos, it's not really that hard. You just need one key element, and that is a custom snow brush. So I'm going to show you how to make the brush, and then we're going to jump back to the photo, and I'm going to show you how to paint it in and make it a little more realistic. And so the first thing we need to do to make the brush is we need to go up to File, New, and we need to have a width of 500 and a height of 500, and I'm going to click OK. Now I have a blank layer here, and I'm going to get a regular brush, and I'm going to paint a couple black circles around here. So I have one that's like this, and it doesn't have to be perfectly circle. Uh, I'm going to have another smaller one like this. I'm going to make another tiny dot right there. And so this is going to be the actual snow that's going to go in the photo. And so to make this actual uh, make this an actual brush, what we need to do is go to Edit, Define Brush Preset, and I'm going to call this one Snow. And I'm going to click OK. And now my cursor is the exact same dimensions and the exact same form as the brush we just made. So now I can jump back to the photo and I'm going to make a new layer here. And as you can see, I'm painting, I'm drawing, and that's the pattern that's painting in. Doesn't quite look like snow. So the next thing we need to do is we need to go to the uh, brush panel. So I'm going to go here to br uh, Window, Brush Presets, and go to Brush. And now here's where I tell Photoshop how I want the brush to operate. So I'm, first I'm going to go to uh, sh Brush Tip Shape, and I'm going to make the spacing. I'm going to space them out just a little bit. So uh, roughly around there, so about 35, 36, 37, somewhere around there. And I'm going to go to Shape Dynamics. I'm going to check that, and I'm going to put my size jitter all the way up to 100. And then for my angle jitter, I'm going to kind of mess with that a little bit. You can see it kind of moving around, and that's kind of the, what's going to happen here. So I'm going to put it all the way to 100 as well. Roundness jitter, I'm going to kind of make it a little more flat, but not all the way. And so I'm going to keep it right around 60, 65, somewhere around there. Uh, scatter, that's a big one because you want them to be kind of scattered apart. So I'm going to tr take my scatter and bump it all the way to 1,000. And my count... I'm going to mess with that and put it around 2. Next, I'm going to make sure my smoothing is checked. And that's about it. That's all you need to make your snow brush. It's very simple and very easy to do. So now, as you can see here, I'm going to take my brush. I have the brush shape here. I can take my brush, and as I paint, I get all these speckles of, of uh, circles coming around here. And this is actually the brush that I just made. So I'm just going to remove that, and now I'm going to change my brush color to white, and I'm going to make my brush fairly small. I'm going to make sure I do this on a brand new layer so I'm not affecting the background layer, just a brand new blank layer. And all I'm going to do is paint downward. So I'm just going to click and hold and drag downward, and you can see I get a whole bunch of dots. And that was a little too big, so let's make it a little bit smaller. And let's try right there. And what this is doing is I want it to be as small as possible, and all I'm doing is making it look like the uh, snow in the background. I'm just trying to make it look uh, like this is pretty far away from the camera. Just random lines coming down. doesn't need to be perfect. So we got that right there. And so I'm going to keep that just like it is. Now I'm going to go make another layer, another blank layer. And I'm going to enlarge my brush just a little bit more. And I'm going to do a couple clicks here and there. just like this. So as you can see, if we take that layer away, we have these dots right here. And I'm just going to just make a couple more, and these are all going to be in random order, because that's what we set our brush to be. All right, and I'm going to put that layer back there, and now I'm going to do one more, and I'm going to make this a fairly large one. So I'm going to do it right here, right there maybe, maybe another one over here. All right, so there we go. And what this looks like is, is in the final product, these larger dots are actually going to look like they're hitting the front of the lens. They're in the front of the camera. And so we have the front of the camera snow, uh, snow here. We got that kind of like the mid-range here. And then we got our tiny snow that's fairly far away from the camera here. So let's concentrate on the small snow here. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go ahead and do a Gaussian blur on this. So I'm going to highlight that layer. I'm going to go to Filter, Blur, and Gaussian Blur. And uh, there's no real magic to how much I need to blur because it's going to affect different different photos. So I'm just going to blur it just enough to where I'm not seeing any harsh edges. So somewhat around there that looks about right. You can still see that there's detail in there. 
but now I'm going to do one more blur and I'm going to do a uh, motion blur to make it look like it's falling. So I'm going to go again to filter blur and then I'm going to go to motion blur. And as you can see, it kind of has it's kind of going sideways here. I want it to go upwards and downwards and maybe at an angle, slight angle. So just like that, it kind of gives it a, a rain effect, but I'm going to decrease it a little bit more. So right around there, it looks like it's, it's snowing pretty good which is kind of the effect I'm going for. So I'm going to keep blurring it. And for mine, it's going to be roughly around 35. I think that's going to be probably good, uh, good, good value there. Uh, let's go to 40. Yeah, let's go. Let's go between 35 and 40 for this particular photo. So that's good. So we'll click OK. And now we have the uh, tiny snow in the background. That's kind of what we're wanting. So now we're going to do the mid range snow. Uh, we're going to do mainly the same thing. We're going to filter blur, Gaussian blur, I'm going to blur that out as well. This one's going to require a little bit more. So roughly around there. I still want a little bit of detail there. And now I'm going to do again, I'm going to do a blur, motion blur. So I'm going to go to filter blur, motion blur again. And I'm going to kind of keep the same direction, but I'm going to blur it a little bit more. Make it look like it's moving a little bit faster. All right, there we go. And now for the fun one, the one that's in front of the camera. This is the one that most people are going to pay attention to when they're looking at the photo. So I'm going to go again to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And that one's going to require a lot more blurring. So roughly right around there. And now we're going to do another blur, which is a motion blur again. So we're going to motion blur that one. And that one looks like it's going to be falling directly in front of the camera. So let's go right there. So now what we have to do is group these all together just to kind of keep it organized. So I'm going to select all of these and hit, hit Command or Control G. That's going to put it in a group. And now what this allows me to do is to toggle it on, toggle it off to show the snow. But now I want to decrease the opacity just a little bit to make it a little, little less intense. And the next step I'm going to do just to kind of blend it in a little bit more with, with the whole image is uh, I'm going to do a uh, photo filter and I'm going to make it a cool photo filter. So I'm going to go over here and go to cool. Uh, you can choose whichever one looks best to you. Uh, I'm just choosing the cool filter 80. And I'm backing this down a little bit because I don't want it to affect the, the image as much. Uh, but I still want to kind of blend in everything. So roughly around there, and that's kind of the, the snow that we're going for. Uh, if you see spots that you want to get rid of, uh, one thing you can do is just open this, uh, this uh, group here. And let's say I want to get rid of, um, uh, let's see, I want to get rid of this dot right here, this one right here. All I got to do is find which layer it's on. It's on the mid-range layer. And now I can just create a uh, layer mask, get a regular black brush. So I'm going to go right here. And make sure my color is selected to black, and make my sure my, make sure my opacity is uh, roughly around 35 for both fill and opacity. And I'm just going to kind of slowly paint that away, and you can see it kind of lessens the effect of that motion. So all I'm doing is just finding little dots that I want to kind of lessen here. And you can do that with multiple dots. You can do that one with the uh, the big ones here, the big big boys in the front. You can do the same thing. Create a layer mask, and just kind of lessen that one just like that. All right, and the next thing we can do uh, just to kind of help some of this out is uh, we have the small dots here, the small snow. We can actually make a duplicate layer just to kind of help it a little bit. Make a duplicate layer, we, and then you can see it actually intensifies the snow. But we can move this around since we have another layer. So we can move, move it around to uh, try to help out where there's snow that hasn't been, uh, hasn't been added. So you can do that and then lower the opacity and it just kind of blends in, makes it look like snow has fallen heavier in some spots. So this is our before photo right here. And then this is our after. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed that quick tutorial on how to add snow to your photos in Photoshop. It's probably a lot better to do that sitting behind a computer than to actually go out there and uh, tromp around in the snow trying to get one of these cool snow photos. So hope you guys enjoyed that quick tutorial. Head on over to sleeklens.com for more Photoshop actions, Lightroom presets, uh, more photography tutorials. This has been Jordan from sleeklens.com, and I'll see you in the next video.